William Yang began making theatre in the 80s, but before that he was a really significant uh, Australian photographer recording uh, Sydney particularly in the, in the, uh, from the mid-70s onwards. He's also a playwright, He's, uh, but from the 1980s he has been developing a very particular kind of, uh, of, of theatre. First of all, uh, from working from photographs of his own life uh, and more recently um, working with other Asian Australians uh, to tell their stories. He's become Australia's greatest uh, cultural export, we uh, feel, <laughs> we suspect, in, in terms of his presence in, in international festivals uh, around the world uh, with his particular kind of, uh, of theatre making. And it has this exquisite mixture of, of uh, deadpan humour, very uh, sort of a simple telling of the facts, but a kind of lyricism and uh, a, uh, this heartfelt and, and very uh, tender uh, human life that, um, uh, that, that, uh, that sits under all his work. William and Annette Chenoir, him herself uh, also a, uh, a very um, uh, significant and well-known uh, Asian Australian through, from, her, from her presence on SBS and her work as a theatre maker over many years, have formed a company together and uh, they've been taking the lives of uh, ordinary Asian Australians and uh, investigating them and opening up uh, the family uh, photos and, and, telling, and telling these fascinating stories and making this beautiful, very simple kind of theatre out, uh, out, of, out of these characters. That's right. Um, it, it, it's, it's a very unique kind of photojournalism. And uh, William and Annette came to us and they had, they had the idea that they would like to create something with, um, with perhaps a number of Asian Australian identities that had come from Adelaide or had lived in Adelaide for a time and were uh, forged uh, uh, or whose careers uh, were forged through uh, their years here. Uh, we jumped at the idea and we are so delighted that uh, three really individual, interesting and, um, and complex uh, people have agreed to be part of this series. Uh, our three are uh, Chong Lu, the very well known and much awarded chef, is going, to, uh, is going to be part of this series. He was born in Malaysia and came out to Australia in his late teens. We've also been lucky to have uh, Razak Muhammad, who many Adelaide people will know as a, both a fashion designer, but also as co-owner of the iconic Miss Gladys Simchun on Rundle Street. And thirdly, Moya Dodd, uh, a really fascinating woman who grew up in Adelaide, in Woodville, is now uh, not just a lawyer, but ha made her name really in uh, the most elite levels of women's sport. She's on the executive committee of FIFA. Uh, she's been named one of the most, uh, Australia's most influential women in sport. She's a, a genuinely remarkable and inspiring woman. And, she's also going to be part of this really special series.